Okay, so let's take a look of question 20. So, on Monday, uh, it took Helen three hours to do a page of science homework exercises. So, um, let me just draw, like let's say this is the page of homework that she was doing. Okay, so this is Monday. And I don't know how many questions that she did, but uh, she spent three hours on it. It was uh, three hours to do a page of homework, right? So, I'll say spend three hours on the homework. And the next day, she did the same number of exercises in two hours only, okay? So we can just think about it still, it's the same amount of questions that she was doing, but she, um, on Tuesday, she was doing much faster. She only need uh, two hours to do it. And right here it says, if her average rate on Monday was P exercises per hour, then the question is asking us to find out what was her average rate of the next day in terms of P. So, uh, it says right here, the rate, it says it's P exercises per hour. So, P exercises per hour. And the question is right here, now we would like to know what's the rate, what was the rate that she, um, when she was doing the exercises on Tuesday. And I don't know that, so let me call that X. So X exercises per hour. Okay. So let's see, um, based on this, what can we do with it? There's one piece of the information that we haven't used yet. It's this one. Same number of exercises. So let's say, uh, let me give you guys an example. So if you think about, just look at the Monday case. So uh, she was doing homework and she spent uh, um, three hours on the homework. And let's say her rate was, let's not look at P, let's think about P as uh, 40. Let's say she can do 40 exercises per hour. So 40 exercise, uh, exercises per hour. Then if you have two hours, then she will be able to do it, um, 80 questions. And if she has three hours, we just need to do three times 40 to get the number of questions that she can do within three hours, right? So if P was 40, we just need to do three times 40, and that would be 120 for the uh, number of exercises that she did on Monday. So uh, the idea is that we will multiply the time, three hours times the rate, to get the number of exercises that she did. So let me write this down. Number of exercises uh, she did. Well, in this case, it's just three times P. Okay, so right here, I have two times X, right, for Tuesday. So I have two times X. Again, use the time times the rate, this will give us the number of exercises that she did. And uh, the situation is, they are the same. So they have to be equal, right? If she did 120 questions on Monday, she must also did 120 questions on Tuesday. In another word, 3P must equal to two times X. Okay, so here we have 3P equals to two X. And we are solving for X because that, that's what we're trying to find out, okay? So we have two times x, we just need to divide both sides by two. So we can cancel out the two, and then we can get x, it's equal to three p over two. So um, the rate on Tuesday was three p over two, right, three p over two. And if we take a look of the choices, three p over two exercises per hour, that's choice D. And here we complete all the quantity questions for the AccuPlacer elementary algebra sample questions. All right?